Hello everyone, welcome back to some more of our Total War Warhammer 2 multiplayer games. This is going to be the Beastmen in a Vanguard deployment versus the Wood Elves. So we are three seconds in into this battle, I'm going to have to keep it on pause here for a little bit. The front line here is going to be a bunch of Vanguard deployed Gore Herds. These are the ones without the shields, they have a, a bit more melee attack on their side, so they're pretty good, I believe, I, I feel. Uh, decent weapon strength as well. They are being led by Kazrak of the One Eye, and I have, I think, most of his abilities and items on right now. So, a while ago, I don't know actually when this was changed, but Dark Mail used to incur, I think, negatives to casters that were near him. Um, so he was really good at hunting casters that way, I guess, but they changed Dark Mail, so now, if he is in melee, his magic resistance and armor are increased, so it makes him a little bit more tankier, so I kind of like that. Um, he also has the Primal Fury, like all the other Beastmen do. So that raises, oh gosh, there we go, raises his charge bonus, his melee attack, and his overall speed, and gives him immune to psychology. And again, one of the coolest things is that he could be Vanguard deployed, so I wanted a lord up here with all of the gore herds, um, just to give him some more bonus to leadership and engage against any targets that we needed to. Back here with the non-Vanguard deployment units, we have two of the Razor Gore herds that bring some armor-piercing damage to our army. We have two basic Ungore Spearman herds for anti-large. We also have the Brave Shaman of Shadows with the Pit of uh, Shade? Pit? Right? That's what the spell's called? Pit of... Pit of something? Yes, Pit of Shades. And then we also have Enfeebling Foe, which lowers the melee attack and melee defense of any target that we cast that on. And then we also brought... Or I also brought a group of Chaos Spawn. Because there's a lot of low armor targets in the Wood Elf army. And these do a bunch of just kind of base weapon strength. And they never break. Because they're Chaos Spawn. They're unbreakable. Uh, then over here... There's our six Gore Herds still. Then over here we have three Harpies... We have um, one more gore herd, this one with shields, and then we also have three Chaos Warhounds. Uh, so we have almost all Vanguard deployed forces, as you can see here, like it's just, it's going to pop off pretty quickly. For the enemy, they have two Vanguard deployed Wild Riders with shields, but way in the back there. I don't know why, I guess they were expecting maybe I would go Cygors, I'm not entirely sure. Um... But anyway, for the rest, rest of their army here, we have three Deepwood Scouts in a... I don't know if this is a Vanguard deployment right in front of the lines or not. But in any case, three Deepwood Scouts that are being deployed right in front of my Gore Herds. They have two Spearmen? Yes, yeah, so they have two Eternal Guards with shields. And they also have the Renown Unit with the Winterheart Guards in the back. And then my opponent also brought four War Dancers, which I think can do really good against the Beastmen. Uh, the thing is, though... The War Dancers do have the bonus versus Infantry, so they technically do hit more often than, let's say, a Gore Herd. But they have pretty similar weapon strength. Uh, they also do have the fact that they... Uh, what is the resistance? 25%? 20%. Uh, so they are a little more tankier than Gore Herds, but there are only four of them here. And our Gore Herds, with their Rampage, is at a melee attack of 41, so they're still going to be actually hitting the War Dancers in return pretty frequently because their melee defense does not really outshine these melee attacks so i think also gore herds are pretty good against war dancers war dancers are pretty good against against gore herds uh, but the thing is war dancers are more expensive than gore herds but anyway there's a little comparison there and then we also being led or they're being led by durthu the big old angry tree with his high weapon strength and he has the sword of daith which is the aoe which used to be centered around him but now you can actually cast where you want the sword of daith skill to be it is a direct damage spell kind of like flock of doom a little bit yeah, it's kind of like Flock of Doom. It also lowers the armor of enemy combatants. He can cast that, cast that twice. He has Lamination of Despair, which is a good single-target armor-piercing spell that he has, or ability, I should say. He also brought Foe Seeker. We also have the Curse of Boundaryn here, which is part of his spell kit. And a Flock of Doom is the other spell that he is going to be taking. And I think that's it for their army. So I do not think they were expecting, let's say, a, you know, a huge Vanguard-deployed Gore Herds in front of their face. Let us get this battle underway. So I immediately charge as soon as the battle starts because I was expecting us to get the jump on the Wood Elves, and I, I think we did. The only thing saving the Deepwood Scouts, I believe, are their, them being in skirmish mode, I think. Maybe not, I don't know, but I, I'm assuming they are. So our initial Gore Herds are going to get caught by the Eternal Guard, and the War Dancers are going to be coming down. There's going to be, I think, a Curse of Unrun here casting his Gore Herd, as well as the Sword of Dates going to be cast over here, um, too, by Durthu. And you can see this is going to be a pretty ugly formation because I just mass selected because everything is going so quickly. So I just did like a group select and now I was just like right clicking over here just to get all these troops over there. So that's why they are in a single uh, file formation. This will get cleaned up a little bit as I am now trying to get everything into the Wood of Army as fast as possible. So we're getting all of our non Vanguard troops over here, giving them attack orders. We're going to be rushing in the uh, Ray Score Herd into these War Dancers because these guys have decent armor, uh, but they do a pretty good damage on the charge as well. 
You have a finish shades going down here on the other flank, getting into these Eternal Guard and these Tifa Scouts. And you can see that the Renown unit is going to try and stop all of our uh, pups, but they are not going to be able to because at the last moment they're going to be like, nope. And so all of our harpies and all of our pups are coming over here to try and clean up the rest of their Deepwood Scouts before they really get anything going. Kazarak is just going to be buried in the middle of this formation against the War Dancers. And Kazarak, he doesn't do a lot of armor piercing damage, but he does have a very high weapon strength. Especially, you can see here, I forgot to point this out, but I've also popped Scourge, which gives him uh, poison attacks and buffs up his melee attack and defense. I also popped Deadly Onslaught. And Apocalyptic Vision is the AoE, which gives troops around them leadership and also gives everybody more melee attacks. So you can see he's rocking 117 melee attack, a uh, weapon strength of 588. It is not armor piercing focus, but he is just cleaving through these poor war dancers, just doing so much damage. And he is so tanky against them because they're not really an armor focused unit. Um, they're good at killing low armor units, and he's rocking 124 armor if in melee, 100 if not in melee, because again, the dark mail is, is on. So he's, he's pretty good at killing war dancers, I would say pretty good at that role. Uh, but again, most of the action is going to be over here. I'm bringing in my own Spearmen. The Wild Riders are going to be coming in, so I'm going to be uh, throwing both of our Spearmen after them and chasing them for the rest of the battle for the most part. And yeah, our pups are all over these Deepwood Scouts. Our Harpies are all over the Deepwood Scouts. I am going to be able to catch up, I believe, to the Winter Heart Guard with this Gore Herd here. Going to get them reinforcements with the Gore Herd, or herd with shields, which was originally started over there. Uh, the center of their formation is kind of breaking a little bit. You can see they're chasing one of my Gore Herds off here, which is very bad for them because they need more help right here. Uh, Wild Riders charge into our Spears, which is not the best idea, but they do pull them back uh, pretty quickly. They're going to wrap all the way around the flanks and coming back here, and I'm going to be chasing them with my Spears. Meanwhile, we are wrapping up some of the more uh, War Dancers in the middle here with Kazrak and our Chaos Spawn just doing so much damage against the War Dancers. Anyway, uh, now Kazrak and Dreadth are going to be duking out for a very, very long time. They're getting reinforcements here with the Gore Herds with shields. Going to do a charge with the Razor Gore Herd, trying to get into Dreadth, trying to break that high armor that he has. I need to really have my Razor Gores do a lot of work because they are my main armor penetration uh, unit that I brought. They're not ma amazing armor penetration units, but they are what I have access to. Meanwhile, our Gore Herd back here just keeping these Winter Heart Guards um, busy. The Wild Riders are going to be trying to break my Gore Herd. I'm going to be coming in the back with some Wild or Harpies with some Chaos Warhounds because at this point they have already just made mincemeat of all of those um, Deepwood Scouts. Some of them are going to come back over here. I think this is the only unit that ever comes back is this Deepwood Scout there. Um, so they're going to start firing into this formation over here. So I'm going to immediately send our Chaos Warhounds to finish the job that they started. Meanwhile over here my Gore Herds have come back from running so we are re-engaging on the one internal guard on this flank. Re-engaging on the War Dancers over here which are going to be able to route my one Raised Gore Herd. The other Raised Gore Herd is rampaging over here against Durthu. We have multiple Gore Herds to try and run interference with the War Dancers. And again at this point uh, Kolek and Durthu are just in a struggle. They are just dealing damage. But the thing is I have backup. I have these Chaos Spawn, which are applying poison damage to Durthu whenever my uh, Scourge ability is on cooldown. So his damage is constantly being nerfed, ours is not. Uh, but he has cast, I believe, at this point, a couple of good uh, Flocks of Doom. He's been kind of focusing on this pack of troops right here. I think he may be casting another one. But I'm still just trying to... There, there it is. I'm trying to deal with these Wild Riders, still trying to surround them with our puppies, with our harpies, trying to pin them down for our spears, just trying to try and uh, finish off. We've done a lot of good damage. These are the main threat that we have now. This one more dancer, I'm just going to send a Gore Herd to just try and keep them busy and away from Durthu. Durthu is now at less than half strength. So is Kazrak? Uh, because, you know, Durthu is a pretty heavy hitter. Even poisoned, he does do a lot of armor piercing damage. Kazrak has a lot of armor, but armor piercing just goes right through that, so, you know, Durthu doesn't really care too much about armor. War dancers do, though. Anyway, some more Go Herds coming online. The Ray Shaman of Shadows, I think, routed briefly and is now coming back. This War Hound has managed to wrap up the last of the Deepwood Scouts who managed to stay in the battle. Just trying to keep Durthu separated from everybody else. Again, we're just still working slowly on these two Wild Riders with our Harpies or Spearmen. Still working on the Winter Heart Guard because these guys are very, very durable. Going to throw some more um, units into there. We're, again, we're just trying to keep Durthu isolated. Keep everything away from Durthu as much as possible, but the Wild Riders are going to be able to get into there. Trying to reinforce their Tree Lord. I'm sitting in puppies, sitting in the Harpies, trying to do whatever I can to bring them down. You can see this War Dancer is finally going to succumb to the damage of my Bray Shaman, I believe, is in there. And then three separate Gore Herds finally to take down this War Dancer. They were doing a, a whole bunch of damage in this game. 149 kills in that one unit, just wreaking havoc through my Gore Herds. But now they are gone. Wild, our Wild Riders are very low strength at this point. Um, they've managed to do some work, but I have kept them separated from their big Papa Durthu for a, lot, a long time. So um, that is 
has been my goal and has been successful. Winter Heart Guard is slowly just trying to get to Dirt through, but we keep intercepting them with different units, so they're just kind of spread out along this line there, and we're just doing what we can to keep them again separated from Dirt through. That is the name of the game. Keep Dirt through isolated so that uh, Kazrak can kill him with the help of the Chaos Spawn. And you can see here that that is going to be successful. Dirtu is going to shatter under the weight of all of these Beastman units. And the poor Winterheart Guard was never able to actually make it to their Lord. And they are unbreakable, so we're going to have to just kind of fast forward through here. And that's going to be at the end of the game. <sighs> A lot of talking very fastly with these Vanguard deployed armies. So clearly my opponent was not expecting the... Massive surround of the Vanguard puppies, harpies, and gore herds. Uh, the Wild Riders did do some work. They were a little late because of their Vanguard deployment. If they were deployed behind the Wood Elf forces, they could have intercepted my puppies. And that would have been really bad. That is why I brought the harpies, just to try and fly over Wild Riders. But um, I didn't really have to worry about the Wild Riders, fortunately. Okay, so... <laughs> War Dancers did really good. Again, they're pretty good at killing Gore Herds. Um, overall, they got a lot more kills than the Gore Herds did, but the Gore Herds can still trade into the War Dancers, especially with the help of Kazrak the One-Eye. The uh, Razor Gore Herds did some damage to Durthu. Honestly, they're kind of wasted against War Dancers, though, so one of my Razor Gore Herds were kind of wasted. The other one at least did some damage to Durthu. Uh, the Deepwood Scouts managed to get some kills, but we just rushed them from the front, and then we just collapsed on them from the back super quickly with the Puppies and the Harpies. They had really no chance. The uh, Chaos Spawn did some damage to the War Dancers and more mainly to uh, Durthu and Poison them. So, anyway, good game to White Owl. That was a fun match to Vanguard deploy uh, with Kazrak. Not something you see every day because Kazrak is probably one of the weaker lords. Honestly, like, Morgor is like the lord you choose for Beastmen, really. Um, Malagor and Kazrak are really weaker than, than he is for the most part. But it's fun to bring Kazrak and let him you know, wreak havoc on some widows every once and again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the battle, everybody. Let's go watch a cinematic view. God, he just deployed so close. Get him! Wood Elf Archers can't do anything if you don't give them the time to do it. I love Rushdown Factions. Oh, look at those puppies. They're about to get some. Good old Kazrak. Puppies are coming for you. Deepwood Scouts are like, no! Harpies and Warhounds. Like they just have nowhere to go. Everywhere there's enemies. Nice charge here. Ooh.
He's just still one of the coolest looking units. I just love these deer. Only so much you can do when you're a so outnumbered. Even more gore is coming in. Guys, Rex buried in there somewhere. Oh, wait, there he is. The Winter Guard, keeping it out to the last. Got some air right there. Um, they had like literally every single beast we needed in the match just on them at the end there. Poor guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the battle, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.